Welcome to another episode of Tube Test. I'm here with Joey. And Joey, you do Portuguese pop, right? Yes. And your artist name, because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna butcher your last name. Yes. Joey Madeiros. Okay. Yeah. But see, if you want to be Portuguese, it's Joey Madeiros. Oh, but you, you say it so cool. Like, I could try and I'm just not going to do it. I would hope so. That, but I, I, that's why I need Natalie here so she could actually, like, tell me how to say everything perfectly. There you go. And now the sun is going down, changing on us a little bit. Oh, oh. we're good. We're good. Okay, we're great. So <laughs> I'm in his studio, and I'm super excited because he picked up a German microphone. Mm -hmm. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so I ended up getting the Myberg M1 microphone. Uh, this thing is a tank. It's heavy, solid brass. The the metal work is as flawless as the sound. Um, it's definitely a heritage kind of a microphone built in the Neumann-esque kind of way. Um, Andrew Myberg, Andreas Gr uh, Grosser, and there's one more person. I'm totally blanking on their name. But um, this microphone is just unbelievable. It has a really warm sound. Um, it definitely is an M7 capsule, but... At the same time, not. I'm used to like an M7 being in a U47 kind of a body, and I think the head basket and the mesh really create a different. It creates a different kind of a sound. Mm -hmm. um, it's a little bit more open. Uh, the best way I've been able uh, to describe it, uh, my fiance actually shout out Alyssa. <laughs> um, she described it as an expensive sound, and I didn't know what that meant, but. Um, it literally sounds like whoever is singing through this mic when it's recorded, it just sounds like they're singing in the room when it's coming out of the monitors. Yeah. Um, it really is uh, really is my favorite mic. My Bach 251 has always been my go-to vocal mic, but I think it's safe to say that the the Myberg, it has the Thiersch. Thiersch? Is that how you say it? Thiersch? I think you said it right. Yeah, yeah the Thiersch M7 capsule. Yes. Um totally amazing i think this is now my go-to vocal microphone so when i first saw this microphone yeah. at nam uh the build quality is incredible yes okay absolutely and yes. it by far wins and you're just about to show us yeah. it wins the the best mount that i've ever held there. in my hand yeah oh it, absolutely it is gigantic yeah um and when you're holding it, it feels so solid. Yeah. Um, I, I was just like so impressed by it. And I've seen a lot of these, like, you know, the vintage mm -hmm. microphone mounts that are very similar to this back in the day. But this thing went above and beyond. Oh, so, absolutely. And sometimes they'll, you know, you'll have, you know, kind of it loosely based on the vintage one. Mm -hmm. This is like they took it to a whole new level. Yeah. And what's really cool, too, is when you mount the microphone in here, it's just so smooth screwing it in. It's, I, I, I'm totally floored. It's almost as if, and we're not sponsored to say this at all, but it just feels like Myberg went back in time, brought a microphone that was in development at the time and brought it back for the modern studio. I mean, the noise, it's just so clean and just built in such a really traditional way but just for a modern recording studio and i just i'm i'm totally blown away i'm really particular too about uh, metal work um i do have quite a few different microphones i have the soyuz uh, 017 the, bl uh, the brass black version or the black brass um but gosh there's just something really unique about the m1 that's uh, I, I feel like this microphone is going to be talked about 50 60 years from now I can't disagree with you. I, I was kind of joking with him yeah. when um, I first saw it, and I go, oh, it's very much like the UM57 that Neumann put mm, out. Yeah. And he was kind enough to just kind of say, not quite. You mm, know, like, mm -hmm. And I don't know if those are his words. I'm just putting that yeah. into, um, you know, paraphrasing it. But not at all. It is, mm -hmm. it is so, like... It's not even light, like a, like the UM57 yeah. when you carry it, it's kind of like, you know, it, sure. it's light. This is like, it feels super solid. Um, when I first sang through it at NAMM and Natalie mm -hmm. sang through it at NAMM, I instantly um, did not see a modern microphone. Mm -hmm. I, I basically heard a vintage microphone that you always hear. And when I say that, it's that warmth, it, it's yes. that immediate... Um, that immediate non-sibilant sound yep. is what I would call it. Yes. So 
I was blown away and I will go as far as saying that, you know, when I first listened to the Tracy Corby and his convertibles and everything yeah. that he was doing back in the day, I really understood why a lot of people in Nashville use those microphones. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I said, you know, this is a great modern microphone yeah. and you don't have to worry about it breaking down. You don't have to worry about the tubes. Yeah. That, you know, well, you still worry about the tubes, but I'm saying for the most part, it's a brand new microphone that is high quality. Yep. Isn't the Corby the one that has the, you can change the capsules yes. as well? Yep. Yes. I've used that before. This one surpassed it for me. Mm. Like, like my first introduction to it, I, I got it. Yeah. And when he started explaining my bird, when he started explaining to me that it was, uh, Andreas Grosser who designed yeah. it, um, that blew me away too, mm -hmm. because I've always loved Andreas Grosser's products yeah. and, th and yep. microphones that he's designed with other people. Um, and now he's passed away. Yeah. So it's almost like. I would buy this based on the fact that yeah. it's an awesome microphone I can use all the time, mm -hmm. and um, I don't think it's going to break down anytime soon. Oh, no. not <laughs> like, I mean, this just the cable alone, it's an, uh, a Mogami cable, and uh, a company that we will not mention uh, that has a, a reissue of their microphone has a very thin cable that we mm -hmm. were talking about a little bit earlier. And just just the whole build quality and the attention to detail in this, I'm just I, I'm blown away really just at how wonderfully made this microphone is. And also they have a new one coming out that I tested uh, at NAM. I believe it's called the M28. It's a, a CK12 capsule. Um, that one sounded really really interesting too. It has a nice crispiness to it, which would be synonymous with like a CK12 kind of a capsule. But it just has like a really I don't know. Myberg is just doing some really cool things, and and just on top of it, he's a really cool guy. Yeah. Um, I'm actually running this mic over here, um, through Locomotive Audio. It's a tube-based, um, preamp and uh, compressor. It's the 286A. They don't use make that anymore, so I guess I have vintage gear now. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, they don't make that one. But it's the same circuit for their new one, I believe. Um, and the 14B, the compressor. Um, just running it through. This is, gosh, just unbelievable um i i'm kind of at a loss for words of just how familiar the sound is but how just clean it is because you would kind of think you get a really great u47 um and there might be some issues with the the internals or whatever it may be some self noise or whatever this thing is silent um and on the power supply um, what's really cool is there's a button where you can uh, disengage. So there's no polar patterns on here. You select it on the power supply, but there's a button where you can just do pure cardioid. So it shuts off the back capsule altogether. And that in and of itself, I, I guess they were saying there's a boost in the output. Um, and it just makes the preamp even quieter just because of how much is coming out of the microphone. Um, I just, I can't talk this microphone up anymore <laughs> so my question is because i see him in the background yes do you ever let grogu grew use it oh absolutely i have luke skywalker right there i got darth vader uh <laughs> we we have a new album coming out it's uh it's gonna be called uh out of this world into a galaxy far far away <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so great. Well, I can't wait to uh, hear more of it. And, you know, I just, I, I love what these guys are doing. And I love all your racks. Like, oh, you thank just, you. <laughs> you, have, like, you have everything that a kid could dream for. You yeah, know? Like, yeah. It's like, it's been a work in progress. I'm, I'm really, really happy. Uh, I've gotten really into mixing and mastering. Um, shameless plug, uh, I'm Apple Digital Certified. So if you want anything mastered, send it my way. Uh, doing a lot of analog work. I just, for some reason, analog just gets me to where I need to go faster. Sure. And uh, there's this really cool thing that just happens with the physics of the sound that just creates this depth. Instead of having 20 plugins on the uh, the master bus, I can just literally just pop these in whatever I need, and it'll it does what it needs to do. So I'm really happy and really blessed, and um, especially with this new microphone and just being here and I do have one extra thing I do want to say. Sure. Um, tube tests has been a really integral part in building my studio. 
because I used to watch literally religiously. You can ask anyone in my family. I would put it on. Even just recently uh, at my fiance's house, I looked up uh, tube tests and I was watching the Myberg before I got this one. I, wa I watched the flea microphone, everything, all the, the M49 and just reaching out to you on there. Um, just It's really, really fun and just really just beneficial, I think, for people that want to build a microphone Stu a, a microphone a locker and just hearing your voice and Natalie's voice just having that c uh, that that um just just that consistency in your voices and doing these tests I think is just really really wonderful just to be able to hear the different mics with your voice and her voice and to know it's a similar voice all the time so I do want to thank you and, and Natalie she's not here uh, but um for, oh, for doing that those are so ki kind words now we got to live up to it and then, of course <laughs> I, I blame people like you because I got so busy with you know everything else and sure and being outside recording you know all kinds of stuff but I thank you I thank you for that compliment we will oh, yes. have we will have to do many more tube tests oh, yeah. um, and travel around the world and test out microphones. Mm -hmm. And um, last great favorite thing, like what do you you know, like what do yeah. you love about this mic? So, I think the thing I love most about this mic is just how easy it is to get a good sound out of it. I mean, you could just it just smooth like butter. Um, I just think just how easy it is to work with this microphone. I love that there's no shock mount. I know sometimes you might have a little bit too much rumble, but I don't know. I just love how it just looks the part. It sounds expensive, whatever that means to people. Um, it looks, it feels expensive, um, but honestly, it's worth every dollar, and this mic is going to, I think, outlast me. So I would say my favorite thing is just how easy it is it make it makes you sound good um it just creates the sound that you're familiar with and just i don't know it just it has this really wonderful quality about it just attention to detail there's nothing that goes unseen sometimes you get a microphone and it's kind of underwhelming uh when you open it it comes with the pelican case i believe it's somewhere over there or actually we're, we're using it as a as a prop right now for the uh, the camera but it's just just every there's detail in everything and i i do hope that they continue building and making more microphones because i will be getting more my microphones and i love the m too my last name's madero so the m is kind of there too so yeah that's, Definitely. that's you. Well, <laughs> I'm excited for you, and I'm excited that you have a good German awesome yes. built microphone with one of my favorite capsules of all times, mm -hmm. Thiersch. He's doing such amazing work and yeah. has done amazing yes. work. And Andreas Grosser. I mean, the Voxorama, you know, if you know that microphone mm -hmm. and you heard that microphone, it's still a mic that when I listened yep. to it, I was completely blown away. And it is as close to a real 47 that I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a fantastic microphone. Yeah. But Well, what I do want to say, just speaking about that, so the M1 is not, even though it kind of looks like a 251, it's not meant to emulate a microphone. It's its own design. And I think I liked that also because there's a lot of clones. Uh, this year was kind of like, this year and last year was kind of like the 251 year. <laughs> Uh, so, um, and don't get me wrong, I have the Bach 251, I love it, I love the 251 sound, but I just like how unique this is. It's not a 47, it's not a 251, it's not an M49, um, it just has a really unique sound to it that's just round, um, not sibilant, but it is clear, it's detailed, um, takes processing really well, and yeah, I just... I can't speak more good things about this mic. Well, awesome. Now you're going to have to go make awesome music and release great songs with yes. your Myberg M1. Yeah, the uh, so I'm actually working on a new song uh, right now. Uh, we just finished the vocals, and it was all cut with this microphone. Um, and we kind of did a listening test just to hear the Bach 251 versus this one. And they both sound phenomenal, but there's just something special about the, the M1 that's yeah, it's just, you'll have to hear it. 
Okay, well, next time on Tube Tests, we are going to tell you a story that you probably will not believe. Um, Joey already knows what I'm talking about. Um, I'm still in awe. I'm still in shock. Oh, I haven't. Yes. I haven't told anybody. Well, I, I posted something yeah. on Facebook, but oh, look. Yes, yes, yes. So you gotta just gotta wait till I get back. I'll probably be back on Thursday. So that yeah, give it a few days, and mm -hmm. and you will get to hear the story um, from Natalie's yeah. mouth and mine. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So next time on Two Test, we'll see you as we always say. Next time on. Tube tests. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys later.